Are you wondering what causes high creatinine levels? Maybe you got a recent blood test and you're looking at some of the things that are flagged along the side of this high or low, and your says high creatinine. Creatinine is a way to measure your kidney function. In this video, we're gonna go into some of the details on what causes high creatinine levels. My name is Dr. Taranel. And in this video, we want to look at what causes the creatinine levels to go up and down and what the actual test is looking at. So as I said, my name is Dr. Taranella, and I'm making these videos to help you connect the dots on your health to go a little bit beyond just the basics, whether it's a confusing blood test, like creatinine levels, or a symptom or diagnosis. I make these videos because I enjoy helping you get a better understanding of what's going on with your health. So if you like this kind of information, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaimer, the information in this video is for informational purposes only. It's not intended as a treatment for any health condition or as a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or medical profession. It should be used as an educational guide to deeper your understanding of your own health and treatment success. If medical attention is needed, don't delay in seeking that attention. All right, well, let's connect the dots on high creatinine levels. So in this video, we're going to look at the causes of high creatinine levels. Creatinine is a chemical byproduct of creatine, which comes from muscle tissue mostly. Creatine helps deliver energy to the muscle when higher energy demands are present. So creatine, which you have probably heard of in terms of building muscle, bodybuilding, and overall athletic performance, is the same thing that we're talking about. But you shouldn't confuse creatine with creatinine. Creatine actually turns into creatinine via the enzyme creatinine kinase. And it's continually being produced by the liver, and therefore its production is said to be constant. And because of that ongoing production of creatine, there's also an ongoing production of creatinine. That creatinine is eliminated from the body via the kidneys. So since we know where it comes from and we know how it's eliminated from the body, more or less we know why someone might have high levels or what causes high levels of creatinine. But let me give you a little more context and detail just so you can fully grasp this for your own health. We said that creatinine comes from creatine, which comes from muscle. Therefore, the more muscle mass you have, the bigger you are overall, the more creatinine you're going to end up with. Now, the general utility of the creatinine test is to look at your kidney function or estimated GFR, which stands for glomerular filtration rate. The glomeruli are little filtration systems within the kidney itself. And so how well those glomeruli or filtration systems are working can be said to be related to the creatinine level so that the higher your blood creatinine level, the lower your kidney filtration rate because the creatinine goes out through the kidneys in your system. And if there's a problem in those filtration systems, the blood creatinine goes up. So that's how we generally think about this test. But there are problems or some ways that this test can be a bit misleading. The first being it doesn't really factor in your actual weight. So if you're really, really small or really, really big, even slightly above or below average is going to skew the test results. It's going to skew the glomerular filtration rate. Almost always when you look at the glomerular filtration rate, there's a little E next to it. And that E stands for estimated. That's why it's an estimate because it doesn't factor in your, your weight. It does factor in your, your gender, which is also important because males tend to have more muscle mass than females. So that's really important. And there are other ways to look at that. There's actual calculators that will factor in your weight so you get a more appropriate measurement. And there's also other tests that don't use creatinine to measure your kidney function. The other thing that can sometimes happen where looking at causes of high creatinine levels is reset high intensity exercise close to the test because it is related to muscle when those muscle cells are damaged. This Sometimes you get higher amounts of creatinine in the body and therefore you're going to see the kidney function look a little bit off, make it look a little bit worse. If you're, you know, one to two days away from a high intensity as activity. Now, if you're regularly doing exercise and this is just part of your routine, we wouldn't expect that to really affect the creatinine level and the estimated GFR. But if it's something new, something really intense for your body, you're really sore, things like that, that's when you want to think perhaps this is a my creatinine level and a cause for high creatinine. The other thing is if you're taking creatine on a regular basis, it's going to raise your creatinine levels as well. And of course, the most concerning reason for high creatinine levels is you actually do have poor kidney function. So that's the most obvious thing to look at. But there are other reasons that this can happen that have nothing to do with your actual kidney function. 
All right, that's all I wanted to go over on the causes of high creatine levels. What do you think? Does this help answer your questions on what the causes of high creatine levels are? Let me know, drop your questions in any comments that you might have in the comment section. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.